guys welcome to kids connect art challenge and today we're going to be making our soup cans and bean cans into lovely little containers containers that we can use as little vases or grow plants in or you can maybe put your pens in or keepsakes just make them all nice and decorated so that they can go in your room or in the kitchen or wherever you've got a little bit of space that you just want to put some little things into them. So first of all, we need a soup can or a beans can. Just take off the label and wash them out uh, and then you'll be able to use them to store other stuff in. And we need uh, some paper that we're going to cover them in. I've got this uh, red gingham, a nice spring colour. Uh, that I thought you might like to use and uh, first of all we get our can and we just put it up against the paper to measure the length that we need so mark get the bottom of the tin at the bottom of your paper yeah and put it on and then just mark along your paper where the top comes up to like that I think you can see there and that's the line that you're going to cut along. So you just need to cut a strip of card or paper. You can choose any colours that you want, anything that you might have lying around at home. Or you can buy packs of cards uh, and pay for that from uh, the range or home bargains or the supermarkets um, of plenty. In. And then what you're going to do I've used double sided tape so I've just wrapped that around the can and I'm going to take the top uh, piece of paper, paper off you just unfold that like that and when you take it off that tape's sticky it's sticky on both sides so it'll stick to your can and then when you roll it along it'll stick onto your card so we'll just take those off sometimes it's a bit I just don't want to uh, cooperate, so yeah, that's come off there. I've done it in three places, so if will stick the ends and in the middle, just take it off. Then you just need to go start on the end of your paper, lay your can down and then line it up and then just roll it along the piece of card that you've cut taking your time because sometimes it goes a little bit wonky you may have to go back and straighten it up but just go along the card roll it along as I'm doing like this just take your time until you get all the way around the can now you probably have a little bit left over so what you need to do get some of your double sided tape again just squidge that down a couple more strips of double sided tape on the end of that card that's on your tin I'll we'll just put that down there take the backing off that and then you can it doesn't want to come off again sometimes we're a little bit awkward <laughs> okay just wrap the card back round again and back onto that thing and it'll catch on the double sided tape and when it does that you can just cut the excess off there so that it's just overlapping a little bit uh, but it's stuck down there you go so that's your tin can covered uh, with a layer of card. If it's gone over at the bottom, like mine has done a little bit there, you just need to trim it down so that your can will stand straight once it's finished. Just going to cut that round and trim it off. Now I've done one layer round uh, on this one, but you can if you want to, you could do two colours. So you need two strips of paper and then maybe something in the middle so that they can't see the join. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to put 
put a little bit of ribbon on. Now I find some of these uh, in my cupboard. You might have some ribbon. If you've got some craft stuff and things of like that at home, you can always catch stuff off people if they're throwing things away. Ask them to pass them on to you because you never know when you might want them in your craft or your art store. And I'm just going to use a bit of glue. Now I've got strong glue here, so if you're a bit younger, you may need some supervision uh, using that. But sometimes you need, need the stronger glue uh, to hold what you're sticking on because the PVA glue sometimes isn't strong enough if it isn't just paper. Okay, so I've got a piece of ribbon which I've already measured around the can and cut to size. Okay, so I'm just going to put that on the glue. I'm putting this on the top. So just line it up so that it's neat with the top of your can, can you see? And that looks quite pretty. You can use any colours you want, whichever are your favourite colours. I've gone for these at the minute because it's springtime uh, and I wanted them to look all nice and bright. Again, I'm just going to put do the same down at the bottom. Just do a line of glue around the bottom on the card. Just do it gently, take your time, there's no rush, okay, and then you get the second piece of ribbon and you just put that along there, taking it gently, trying to keep it as neat as you can to the bottom, sticking it to the glue, just around the bottom of the can, so that just finishes off that card a little bit, makes it look bit neater and brighter okay so now we've got our can with two pieces of ribbon on just to make it pretty up and of course you can do it you can do it around the middle if you want to whichever whatever design you want you, you would like to to do on the can so now when I was out at home bargains I found some uh, sticky on bits that we could use. I've got some little flowers like this. Uh, you can usually get some daisies and stuff. These are all in because it's springtime and they've got Easter decorations in. And I've got some little carrots. I thought they were quite cute and springy. Okay, so I'm just going again, just going to put some glue onto the can. I'm just going to look where the middle is, but I might want flowers in the middle. I'm just going to put a bit of glue and I think I'll stick a carrot there. Yeah. These are really cute. You can give these to friends, to your grandmas, aunties. Nice little Easter presents. You could fill them with some little Easter eggs. Uh, as a nice little Easter present. Or some nice little plants, you know, if you can find some daffodils or something like that. Put those in, they'll look cute uh, and pretty. And they're just a nice little present and quite cheap to make because obviously we've got our um, tins free. And these, I bought these for more bargains, these carrots and that, and they were like 70 odd p for a pack of. I don't know about 15 I think I got those of the of the um the, ca the carrots and then we've got these I have just clipped off at the back they've got some little stalks now if you're sticking them onto uh, paper and stuff they won't stick down properly so I've just clipped the back of that off and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there you don't need to try and stick them down flat because they have still got that backing on but they can just stand away from the can which is good because it gives it a little bit of a 3d effect instead of being just flat on i'm just going to put the flowers on there and on there they're looking quite cute you can do these for any time christmas time easter time for birthdays uh, 
you know you just want to give a little present and something to put put the present in but we have made them before and used them for putting our felt tip pens in on our table just so they keep them neat and tidy so they're quite they're quite good and quite handy so there we are guys we've got those we've stuck our flowers and our carrots on looking quite springy and then just to finish it off we're just going to put a little sign on as if the gardeners hung a sign on the uh, on the side of the, the gate and um, we've just got a little bit of card and another card and stuck that on top wrote a little message on this one says blooming lovely and this one's just saying with love and then we've just put a couple of little dots as if they're kind of nails as if it's been nailed onto the onto the fence okay so we're just going to put a little bit of glue onto our can again and then we're just going to stick that on there it doesn't have to go flat because we want it to look like it's just been pinned on as if it's a message from the farmer Okay guys, and then after that, as I say, you can just put in, like we've done here, just put some little flowers in. These are some nice little fake flowers, but they're quite pretty. Just put those into your, your, your can. And there you are. You've got a nice homemade little present for someone you'd just like to cheer up. Okay guys, hope you've enjoyed uh, watching that. And it's been easy enough to follow. I'm sure there's some sheets that are going around uh, that give you step-by-step -step instructions if you didn't quite keep up. Okay, so we'll see you again soon. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for joining us. See you later. Bye.